and they were building something. It feels like they've been building for a long time, but it seemed like finally the, the, the next level of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart, instead of being the young guys with Al Horford and Kyrie and Isaiah, now all of a sudden these guys were built to be leaders and they had become leaders and they had gone through a lot. And now they're about to be on their third head coach in three seasons. Let's not, and I understand it's still within the organization and I, I, I get that, but the fact that this young team is now after coming off the of finals and like, hey, can we build on this? Can we were two games away, you know, for, from possibly winning a championship? That's like two, 3% better from right. each player. And so now that you're going to get a new head coach with a new rhythm and a new feel and a new idea. And so I think for me, I know it's always funny when they were like, oh, Ime, Ime, most times coaches don't step down because if you step down, you do not get paid. Typically, if you get fired, then you get all of your money. You get all of your money still. So coaches are going to always be weary of like, I'm going to step down. I'm going to step away. They're more likely, if you don't want me here, fire me. But in, a, in another year, Ime is going to come back and then try and coach this team the same way he had had and had built up. That's going to be a very, very difficult process, not only for him, but for the players and the organization. Mm -hmm. Everyone loses in this situation. Richard, and, and you talk about that, what it could look like next year trying to come back. And listen, I'm told it's going to be a one-year suspension. That's what they were finalizing today, and they would announce it at some point today. But it is not necessarily a guarantee that he is back in this job after a year. Who knows what happens with Joe Missoula as an interim coach and how they move forward uh, with Udoka, how this plays out. So there are no guarantees, but listen, I do think Ime Udoka made such an impression on people in this league, the job he did in Boston last year. Uh, I don't think the final chapter has been written mm -mm. on his head coaching career yeah. in the NBA, whether that's in Boston or somewhere else. We've seen other high-level executives and coaches recover from things like this often it's in to your point a different place and maybe that ends up what's happened here because as, as you said it's just it just cognitively it's hard to figure out how this works you just go away for a year the team does what it does maybe they're awesome maybe they take a step back and you just walk back in the door and, and coach the team it seems awkward and certainly strange well the, well the Boston Red Sox had that without score he was suspended for a year for cheating and next thing you know, he's back a year later. So in, you know, in Boston, the Boston fans, yeah. that, that group, they, they've seen this something along these lines where a coach you hire, all of a sudden he's got to go for a year and then come back. So this is not unprecedented in sports, but shoot, even in the Boston area in the last five years. So I think there are ways to do it, but it's like sure. that's a long trust road back. Well, no, yeah. hold on. That's way different because the cheating that Core was doing was trying to put the team in position to win the World Series. And so there was a level of, even though he was wrong, the other people understood that he was trying to do it for each person's best interest. In this case, Ime's on an island. And it's going to be hard to gain the trust from the ownership to front office. And then it's going to be snickers all around about what happened when the team hits turbulence. Imagine, before January 1st, this team was trying to find its rhythm. And he's done so very much to put himself in position to get this job. He's played all over the world. He's played in the NBA. He was an established assistant head coach. And it's just really unfortunate now that he gets his yeah. opportunity. Um, these decisions are now potentially going to cost him that job. Well, and, and right now what we know is that it's likely going to be a one-year suspension. Right now we are waiting for the Boston Celtics to announce the, the details, the specifics of what that will look like, and we will cover it as soon as we have that announcement. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.